Hello friends, happy Monday. It's time for another story time with Miss A brought to you by the Northeast branch of Reading Public Library. And this week's book is read with permission from Simon & Schuster Publisher. So continuing our Earth Month theme, the book I've chosen is Green on Green. Written by Diane White and illustrated by Felicita Sala. So, what do you think they mean by green on green? Well, what colors do you see on the cover? I see green. I see green on green. There's, so we live in this big green earth and they're all different colors. And we're going to talk about the seasons here in this book, the turning of the seasons. So in Pennsylvania, we're lucky enough that we get four different seasons. Do you know what they are? So right now we're in spring. Next we will have summer, we'll have fall, and then winter. And then it starts all over again. So everything's beautiful and green here. What season do you think it is in the cover? What season have the little spring flowers gone but we have lots of lush greenness? It's probably summer, it might be late spring. But if we look in the end paper, so let's see what seasons we see. So. We look like this right now. We have all these beautiful pink cherry blossoms. It is spring in this picture. Then like I said, the next one would be summer with those beautiful green leaves. We see some apples, fallen leaves on the ground. What season do we pick apples? Fall, and then what is our snowy season? That is winter. So let's read our book and find out how one little kid right here this dog like to enjoy all of the seasons on our green earth. And in Earth Fun, I just want to give you a reminder, we want to keep our wonderful planet green. So Green on Green by Diane White and Felicita Sala. And look at these beautiful flowers. And do you know what that sort of bug is? It's a bee and bees are so important to our ecosystem. They keep all our plants pollinated so we can grow fruit, vegetables, all the things we need to eat and live. So it says yellow the flower, yellow the seed, yellow and black the buzzing bee. So we talked about the bee and what else is yellow? The grass is almost green yellow, we have yellow flowers. The seed you plant in the ground is sort of yellow, so that's why I said yellow the seed and yellow the flower. Lemonade petals, sunflakes between lemonade sunflakes and yellow on green so we're also learning colors here can you find the yellow and green in this picture we have yellow lemons yellow lemonade yellow flowers and of course our beautiful green grass oh and i see a duck and a chicken in the background how fun spring the meadow spring the pond spring the season of new birds song. So if you listen carefully when you're outside, we are in spring right now and you will hear a lot of beautiful bird song. Do you see birds in this picture? I do. They're right up here and here as well. And here is our beautiful pond. We have cattails and lily pads, all sorts of things you'd find at a pond. Gentle the breezes, rain between. Breezes and rain and yellow on green. So what is the yellow thing on the green this time? Rain boots. So sometimes it rains, but that means we can go out and have fun in our rain boots. And where are we now? Where do you find sea and sand? The b beach and it is summertime now we're in our in our swimsuits at the beach blue the coral blue the shell blue and white the foaming swell so what is swelling rising and falling it is the ocean or the sea and what color is the sea it is blue these beautiful pictures Turquoise. So what is turquoise? It's like a green blue. Can you say it? Turquoise? Turquoise. So turquoise the water, 
teal between, which is the similar color. Turquoise, teal, and blue on green. So on our beautiful green earth, we have lots of blue because our earth is covered with lots and lots of water. And what lives underneath the water here? We see sea plants, fish, coral, crabs, jellyfish, all sorts of things. Some are the picnic, some are the peach, some are the season of wave and beach. So summer is a good time to go to the beach, to have a picnic. A picnic is when we eat outside and it looks like they are having so much fun. And what colors do we see on this page? I see a lot of yellow. And do you see some blue too? There are two things I see right away that are blue. I see a blue sea and a blue truck or car. Now what color do we see all over this page? Green, yes, we see so much green. And now it says endless the sun, shade between sun and shade and blue on green. Now what season is it now? We've changed to another season. It is fall. We see the apples like we saw on the end papers of the book. What colors do we see in the fall? We still see some green, but we see browns. We see reds and oranges, yellows, maybe even some purples. Now it says brown the squirrel, brown the mouse, brown the trees around our house. So what makes the trees brown? Well, they always have brown bark, but also the leaves turn brown and they curl up when it is fall because the trees, they're dropping their leaves, the leaves die and they fall off. Ooh, and what are they doing here? Oh, they're eating a nice tasty meal all together. Ooh, it says cinnamon spice, almond between, cinnamon, almond, and brown on green. So first of all, I see a brown dog on the green grass in the background. That is very clever. But also we have our green earth and we've got lots of browns in fall. Not just the brown leaves, but we have brown bread, baked goods, lots of tasty trees that we want to eat in the fall. Ooh, now I love this scene. I think that's so pretty. So do you know what these big orange things are here? They're pumpkins. So we love pumpkins in the fall. Ooh, and Papa is playing his banjo. It says fall the pumpkin, fall the corn, fall the season of toasty and warm. So it's a season where we like to do very cozy things. Maybe we go to corn mazes, we go to a pumpkin patch, and then we might wanna sit on the porch with some tea, just like Papa has. Oh, and they look very cozy in this picture, don't they? What do you think they're doing all together? I see a turkey on the table. I think it's possible they are enjoying Thanksgiving dinner because Thanksgiving is in the fall. It says friends around the table, candles between, table and candles and brown on green. Ooh, another season. Now what season could this be? Is the season of snow, it is winter. And just look at all these beautiful snowflakes falling. And what color is the snow? White. We see a lot of white on this page. And what else do we see? What color is this? We have blue and what color are the pine trees that stay leaved all year? It is green. Now it says white the breath. You know, if you breathe outside in the cold, you can see your breath. So this is white the breath, white the snow, white and black the cawing crow. So they're chopping wood to warm their house. Looks like they live on like a farmhouse, so they have lots of land, and they probably have a wood stove to keep warm. Wow, and you can see, yeah, they live in a rural area. Rural? means they live out in the country. There aren't too many houses. It's not a city like our city of Reading. 
So we see lots of houses off in the distance. And also, do you know what these animals are? They are deer. If you look really close, you can see we can see their little footprints in the snow. That is one thing I like in winter. You can look for little footprints. It says gray in the sky, taupe between. Taupe is this beige color. Gray and taupe and white on green. Now this is pretty. Looks like they're celebrating the winter holidays. There's a Christmas tree here. They're singing some sort of songs. It says winter the sparkle, winter the chill, winter the season of hope and goodwill. This book is just so cozy. Peaceful the evening, pine between. Evening and pine and green on green. So we end as we always do. The winter comes with the hope of the next spring. So yeah, green on green. And you can also see that mama who was pregnant at the beginning of the book has now had a little baby. The end. So I hope you like this book. I think the illustrations are just so pretty. They're like a gouache or watercolor with colored pencil on top. I think they look so pretty. The book is so cozy and comforting and really touches on the ways that our earth looks different, but healthy and the enjoyment we can find in the beauty of all the seasons. So if you get a go pack at the Northeast branch of Reading Public Library on the corner of 11th and Pike Streets, we have go packs available and it has a little craft in it. You'll be taking a tree for each season. You'll take a Q-tip and dip it into paint and you wanna decorate four season trees. So I want you to use the paint however you think is right and give me a spring tree, a summer tree, a fall tree, and a winter tree. As always, if you want, you can post your result on our Facebook page. But I hope you enjoyed this story, have fun with the craft, and I will see you next Monday morning for another story time with Miss A. Bye friends and have a wonderful week.